Kelsey, great to see you. Thank what you. is the relationship between Gore Bellows and Miss Scott? Gore Bellows, when Madeline Scott was 18, convicted her of murder. And she spent 10 years in jail, and her case was vacated in the hopes of, I think, one day squaring off with Gore Bellows. <laughs> but, Which uh, she obviously has got the yes, chance yes, to it's, do. Uh, there's, there's, some, there's some great fun in that relationship, but... Uh, he uh, is a prosecutor who's had a pretty successful career for 20 years. He's now running for attorney general. He has... He's a weak character in many ways. Um, he may be weak. What I've always noticed and admired about you, my friend, is how strong your voice is. And, it, you know, so I see you there being a, a lawyer, an attorney there, and I can imagine you in court. I can imagine you public speaking. And therefore, Kem is no surprise to me to learn that early acting for you was actually Shakespearean. Yes, that was my first job, was at the Shakespeare Festival in San Diego. And I think I did 11 Shakespeare plays and did some Shaw and uh, a couple of modern, like Ian Esco, and just stuff that was the, the sort of the, the finishing school that I went to, basically, after I was thrown out of Juilliard. <laughs> Why were you throwing well, I wasn't going to acting class. I didn't actually like the guy that was teaching the acting class. I, I mean, I'd say I'd speak no ill of him. It's just he had a particular eye for the, the girls in my class, and, uh, you know, it became kind of boring. <laughs> that, was, that was it. So what about the move to television? Was, was that Cheers, then? Yes, did, Cheers was... Well, I, I, did a, theater, I did or? Kate and Alley. I did the pilot of Kate and Alley. Did and you? That was my first television job. Yeah. But uh, I was in a, the midst of a kind of a, a, a dissolving relationship with my first wife. We had had a child. The baby was with me a lot of the time. And I was living with my buddy, Greg Brown, and... Uh, and I was sitting watching television with my three-month-old child, and he said, I think you're going to get a television job next, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I think, I, I think that's what's going to happen. And about a month later, I got cheers. Frasier. And my one question about Frasier is, hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling, <laughs> toss salads and scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs. Yes, yes. And maybe I seem a bit confused, yeah, maybe, but I got you pegged. But I don't know what to do with those tossed salad and scrambled eggs. That's nice, that pegged. That's sort of <laughs> Irish pegged. <laughs> they call it like they the open they That's nice. I, I, used to, I mean, that was, that was how you tailed off the program. You know what? If there's a theme song, I want to sing it. Because I've always thought I want to sing a theme song. It became, you know, it, it was nice to kind of button up things with the, you know, Fraser has left the building and, yes. uh, yeah. you know, good night, Seattle, we love you. And Merry Christmas, Seattle, we would say things like that, depending upon when the, when the, uh, the show was airing. So it was a way to kind of personalize the, the closing moments of the show. Well, we are um, such fans of the show, and, and it's repeated all the time. I mean, yeah. you can find it oh, I know, on the pretty, channel somewhere. Uh, pretty ubiquitous um, here. There has been talk about it possibly coming back. Yes. Um, sadly, obviously, you've lost your, your dear friend and, and colleague, John Mark, <laughs> David and Jane, and you ever bring it back, do you think? Well, my hope is that we can bring it back. Uh, we're sort of shopping for the right idea, because I don't, I don't think we should pick up, like, like Will and Grace has done a... A, a continuation now, and it, but it's basically like the next day after the last time they were on the air, it picked up right where they left off. Uh, I don't think that's appropriate for Fraser because he was leaving town at the end of the uh, show previously, and he was going to go explore his life in Chicago with his new lady love. And uh, whether or not that went badly or went swimmingly, who knows? <laughs> uh, these are all the things we kind of have to settle on and, and figure out what he's going to do next. It may be a professorship somewhere. He may be back in private practice. Uh, but something that puts him at odds with his brother again a little bit and their new life. They have a child now, and my son Freddie would be 30 years old. Uh, I tend to go for a reincarnation kind of of Martin's character. Yeah. So that he, you know, he picked up on his granddad more than his dad. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. one I like. So, you know, we're, we're honing in on it, and we'll see if somebody wants to buy it. Nobody's written a check yet. Yeah. But... Um, there's a, there are probably a lot of outlets that might pick it up. One of the things I do in my life is uh, talk radio, speech radio, and I always think of Frasier when I'm, you know, when I'm <laughs> there and how he talks. And it is an amazing <laughs> voice you have. And work certainly hasn't been short for you. A fantastic series was uh, Boss, where you play the mayor of Chicago. Yes, and this guy, and, and he was he was a seriously mean. He was piece a of tough work. guy. You can bear witness to Would you to fancy it, being a mayor? Observed. Uh, Real I, life? I have actually been the mayor of Chicago. Seriously? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, when, uh, it was, I think it was the 150th birthday of Chicago. Yeah. And uh, the former mayor and the, the current mayor at the time, Rahm Emanuel, couldn't make it, so they asked me to cut the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, did you feel the good. power? I did. <laughs> and there was another occasion I picked up by, in my um, in-laws and our, our nephew, nephews and uh, nieces from the airport. We didn't have the proper car seats. 
And so I was a little panicked. But sure enough, just as we're turning a corner into downtown Chicago, a police car pulls us over. Oh, I said, oh, oh. boy, here we go. And there's, you know, Sonny and India standing up in the back seat. And I thought, <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm like, shut down. <laughs> but um, so the cop comes up, and he's kind of a young guy, and he looks at me and says, uh, license and registration, please. And then another fella steps out of the other side of the car, and he's an older cop, and he kind of walks up and goes, uh, ah, Mr. Mayor, how you doing? Uh, there's no problem here. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Kane, <laughs> the boss, yeah, right. all so over again. He was well liked. In, uh, you well, know. you're very well liked in all these different characters, whether they're serious, whether they're fun, whether they're somewhere in between. It's always a pleasure seeing you uh, on the Thanks. on the telly and uh, hearing you on the radio as as Fraser. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much indeed. And you're coming back, aren't you? You're coming back to the London Coliseum, uh, April to June for Man of La Mancha. Yes, so yeah. you come back and see us then when of you're course. back in town. Oh yeah, no, of course. We'll be trying to drum up some uh, some tickets. <laughs> 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 on Universal you, TV, uh, Proven Innocent starts on Monday, Monday the 18th of March. It's at 9 o'clock in the evening. Frasier has left the building. <laughs> Frasier has left the building. Lovely, 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 lovely. Hope you enjoyed that what a uh, nice man. chat. Yeah, that's really my box man. set. Nice. That's my new series. That's coming in my new series for Monday night. Um, but you're right. When you sit, when people say to you, who, who have you really liked interviewing? He's um, going on our list. Well... They don't get much better than that. Do you know, it was really. lovely. He didn't have a great big entourage. He just quietly arrived. He was chatty. He was friendly. Um, we weren't told not to ask him anything. No, he's lovely. So, he's really, yeah, really nice. Really nice.